Mr. Uh, Crane. Dr. Crane. Right, yeah, whatever. I'm here to talk to you about what happened with Dr. Combs. <laughs> oh yes, Dr. Combs. I simply wanted to understand him. His globophobia was quite the fun task to pick apart. You simply show him a balloon animal, and he pretty much pisses his pants. He's still in therapy. You know what, Crane? Drop the whole Combs thing anyway. I, I went through some old GCPD files and found something that might interest you. No, oh, please. Police reports don't scare me. You went to Gotham High School, correct? Yes. Do you remember the day of the senior prom? <sighs> yes. How you asked a girl named Sherry Squires to the prom, but she rejected you? Yes. Is this leading anywhere, Dr... Squires, Crane. I am Dr. Squires. Oh dear. See, no, that's my bad. With all the grime on your name tag, I couldn't tell who you were. How is Sherry, by the way? Still with Bo? No, no, she's dead. She died that night. I'm really here to talk to you about how you are, excuse me, were a respected doctor at Arkham and at Gotham University. But something changed in you. You even, uh, um, brought a loaded gun into class and fired it, wounding a student. Nah, studying the effects of fear is best when it's thrust upon a subject unexpectedly. You also murdered an entire board of professors. The one that fired you. Oh yes. I remember the screaming as I shot them all with the same gun. None of those people were wounded, I assure you. Please don't kill me. I have Brian. A bullet in your head. That's what you have. Right. Anyway, I what I want you to do is study these ink blots for me. Tell me, what do you see? All right. I don't know what this is going to accomplish. Come on, John. They're only ink blots. Whatever. Just go. Moth. Cat. Dog. Two people hugging. The disemboweled corpse of your daughter. What? What? Sherry! Interesting. I can sense your fear. The fear of you not being there to pick her up when a crazed maniac dressed as a scarecrow brandished a gun at her and her boyfriend as they were making out in a car. No, no, someone, someone help me! Ah, it's like I went back in time. Memories. My favorite part was when Bo, stricken with absolute terror at the sight of me, drove head on into a tree, and I saw Sherry fly through the windshield at maybe... 40 miles an hour? Ooh, I'm sorry. She was dead on impact. Try as they might, the paramedics could do nothing while I sat in a cornfield and laughed. <laughs> oh, your fear is incredible. I can see it. I can smell it. They knew how I felt after I was lured into that basement at Jason Green's house by your daughter, only to be scared by that douche that peaked in high school. I hear he's paralyzed now, a burden on his family. But I survived, Dr. Squires. 
I learned how to harness fear. How to bottle it up and make anyone I want feel the sensation of being terrified. Tell me, how does it feel? No, no, no. They can't be real images. They're alive. Come now, Dr. Squires. They are only ink blood.